We will keep on reporting on those stories of heroism out of what has been perhaps one of the worst days in Kenya's history. Now, back to those buses that left Garissa early on today, and two of them, two of those eight buses that left Garissa with survivors of the university attack have arrived at the Nyayo National Stadium in Nairobi as the other six buses proceeded on their way to other counties. Tens of families continued to camp at the Nyayo National Stadium for the second day in the search for their loved ones. And as Lofty Matambo reports, quite a number of families are yet to trace their relatives. At the barracks, students who escaped Narol from the Garissa University terror attack were given refuge for two days. And finally, all arrangements to take them to their various homes were complete. Most of them sat in the buses barely able to hide the traces of trauma from the terror attack. The beat by the town of Garissa. Under tight army escort, at least to assure the survivors, of their safety and route back homes. At Nyayo Stadium, frantic persistent phone calls as family members try to trace the whereabouts of their loved ones. Jen Nafula has been here since morning. She cannot trace her 19 years old last born daughter, Stella Namalwa, who was a second year student at the university. Just like Julia Wairimu, whose niece Jacinta Mwangi is nowhere to be found. <laughs> Nimeangalia list sote. Sijapata jina yake. Sasa ndio nimeshindwa ako wapi? Jana tulikuwa huku na hakuna kitu tulikuwa tumeangalia. Tukaambiwa tukuje keso kwa maana kulikuwa jioni. Some of the family members have been here since Friday, queuing, going through the list of names provided, some of them with no success. Various organizations, including churches, were present to offer psychosocial support. We are here for one uh, purpose, to offer psychosocial support to the bereaved families. We are offering around 1,500 or 2,000 cups and some snacks. About 10 buses are expected to get to Nyayo Stadium, where some of these family members will get a chance to reunite with loved ones who escaped death by a whisker. Many left with a number of questions lingering onto their minds. Why was my relative targeted? What are the terrorists after in our country? And which one of us is safe? Lofty Matambo, KTN, Weekend Prime.